What is up guys, it is Matt here from SubFit Nutrition, doing another great video, as y'all know. Alright, so today is Saturday, I have not vlogged all week because I have been loaded down with work. And unfortunately, I still am loaded down with work, so that's what we're going to go do right now. We're going to the library, <laughs> Saturday morning, going to the library to do some work. But once I get done there, after a couple hours of just working, I'm coming back. We're going to have a meal, you know, we're going to chill out, we're going to do just do a bunch of stuff. Um, so yeah, uh, oh yeah, got a haircut. Tell me what y'all think. If y'all think it's ugly, just say so. But uh, I need to do it up and everything. So we are going to get a morning weigh in. Alright guys, just sitting in at 179.7. Okay, so just a couple of quick tips I want to give whenever you're weighing yourself in the morning. The biggest tip I would say is just to weigh yourself at the same, you know, at the same time every morning. So right when I wake up is when I weigh myself. I use the restroom and then I weigh myself. Um, another suggestion I would say is to weigh yourself naked or close to naked. Um, you never see me whenever I'm weighing myself because I'm naked. Uh, just because that's going to give you your actual weight. You know, it's not going to fluctuate too much if you're wearing certain clothes. Don't weigh yourself, you know, later on in the day just because you will eat food. Or you will eat food, you will drink uh, water and liquids and things like that, which you're going to hold in your body. Um, so to get the most accurate reading, weigh yourself every day in the morning uh, naked because that's going to be the best way to get uh, you know your accurate weight every single day because it's going to be at the same time with the same things on. So I finished up studying for a little bit and now I'm going to cook up some chicken because I just realized I'm out of chicken. So I went and got some chicken at Publix right here and I'm going to make some more baked chicken. Chicken is in. Now we just gotta wait for it to cook. All done. This hopefully will last me maybe a week, if that. Alright guys, so I'm finally having my first meal. It's just gonna be like 8 ounces of chicken and 6 cups of broccoli. Um, recently, like on this cut, I've just been in love with broccoli. So that's all I've been eating usually. Uh, so like I said, 6 cups, 8 ounces of chicken. This is gonna be the first meal. It's like 6 o'clock. So finally getting some food in. Uh, I've been studying and you know cooking and other things like that uh, but yeah first meal is this guys so I'm heading to my mailbox in the apartment complex I live in because hopefully my phone is there or my new phone so my phone has gone through the struggle the past couple of weeks I don't know if you can see right there but what I did was I dropped a plant that my mom had gotten me on it and and it like cracked it all the way through so uh it's like a big hole in it so um i'm going to the mailbox to see if i have a new one there so fingers crossed and hope that i have a new one i ordered it um and then i'll just have to uh, replace the sim card in and everything and have a brand new working phone that does not have a big ass hole in it Tech tonight, so uh, that is going to be awesome. But I just want to ask, who else loves Coke Zero as much as me? Well, since they changed it, Coke Zero Sugar, but who else loves Coke Zero Sugar as much as me? I would like to know. It's over, guys. Watch it. Touchdown. Let's go, baby. Oh. Victory but shots. It's the right thing to do in a situation oh, like this. Well, uh, oh shit. On your maybe fingers. you should have poured it, Brandon. Yeah, maybe Brandon should have poured it, not me, but here we go. Cheers. Touchdown, touchdown Cheers, shot. Alright guys, so it is the next morning, and just woke up at a new low weight, and I didn't get to videotape it because I thought I probably would weigh in low, and you know, all that other stuff, couldn't find my camera, but 179 on the dot, so that is awesome, awesome, that means that I am making progress, uh, which is freaking awesome, it is Sunday, and it is the first day of October, which you know what that means, right? 
pumpkin spice everything. It is cold today, I'm not gonna lie. Um, I freaking love the cold in the first day of October. And it's like, it's probably like 50 something degrees out right now. So I am enjoying it because I love the cold. As you can see, I've got a freaking hoodie on. Um, got long pants on just because I have been freezing. I don't know, it's like when I cut, I get really cold, especially if you're like fasting sometimes, like I like to do a lot. Um, you just get really cold, like, my hands, my feet are always cold, just because, like, I guess I don't have a lot of energy, I know I have some friends that'll, like, drink plenty of sodas and stuff like that, and they're always hot, you know, they're always sweating, it's good. I guess it's because they have that sugar running through them, um, but for me, I'm always cold because I really don't, you know, eat a lot of calories throughout the day, and then I like to have big meals, so, um, I guess that's kind of how it is, uh, used to be whenever I eat a lot of food before I went to bed, I would, like, sweat a lot, but, uh, yeah, we are heading, we... I am heading to go uh, study, so uh, I'm going back to the same spot I was before, so hopefully they have uh, some football on, and I'm going to watch some football while I get some work done. Alright, so I realized I was running low on protein, so I had to re-up, and y'all know I like the casein protein, so I am trying out Diamantize's Elite Casein Protein, uh, so I am going to do a review on this. I need to get back into, I don't need to, I just, I want to get back into reviewing supplements since I take, uh, you know, like different pre-workouts. I never, like, drink the same stuff. I never drink the same proteins. I'm always trying different things, so I want to get back into reviewing them. Also, man, it felt so festive today, so it was like, um... Where I was sitting, there was like an Einstein bagels right next to it, and they were making coffee and making all their like festive foods and stuff. So it's like nutmeg, you know, the coffee smell, that roast uh, smell, just everything felt so October ish, November ish, December ish, y'all know what I mean. So that was awesome, just sitting in there and getting to study. So uh, definitely, definitely felt good. Got a bunch of work done. Now I'm about to cook my first meal, so I'm gonna eat that up, and then we're gonna work out around. Seven. We got arms and arms, calves, and abs today. So that's what we're gonna hit. All right. So what is up, guys? We are doing another voiceover. I know I've not done a voiceover in a long time, but I'm just gonna kind of walk you through this arm portion of the workout and just kind of talk about a couple other things. So um, this is the arm portion of my accessory day. Uh, what I like to do a lot of times is just start out. Um, by pumping as much blood into my uh, muscles as possible. So right here you see me doing barbell curls and then I switch over to right here the hammer curls just to try and get um, these large movements in just before I do the isolated movements which will uh, kind of target smaller portions of the, of, of the muscles. So right here I'm hitting larger portions of the muscle, you know, just the overall bicep and then the overall outer head of the bicep. I'm right here with these two movements. Also I do the same with my triceps so as you're gonna see right here that I am doing a close grip bench bench press to hit the uh, inner heads of my triceps and then after I get done with this I'm going to switch over to a uh, tricep extension to hit the outer head of my tricep and then we're going to go on to into some more isolated movements um, but I also want to talk about like just some other things uh, like my training and everything else like that so I am doing five days a week uh, I kind of switched over from the uh, what is it, two body parts, or hitting one body part twice a week, so I had six days on, one day off, but I was realizing, especially now that I'm in a, uh, you know, a much committed, more committed caloric deficit than I have been in a while, um, that I was getting very fatigued, so what I started to do was um, just kind of uh, cut back on the frequency of training, so now I'm doing five days a week, more of a bro split, so it's just... Uh, back on the first day, chest on the second day, legs on the third day, shoulders on the fourth day, and then accessories as you're seeing right here on my fifth day. Um, I really, this is one of my most favorite days just because it's not very taxing, um, but it definitely is really good for just mental focus. I um, mean, help, helping you get that really good mind-muscle connection. Um, it's also uh, very enjoyable. I can get through my cardio sessions a little bit easier because I don't have those large compo compound movements that I'm going through. So as you see right here, I'm doing some isolated curls, and then um, I'm going to switch over to some isolated hammer curls just to you know focus on both parts of the biceps. So um, another thing I like to do whenever I'm doing these accessory days is to focus on all the possible muscles I can focus on in those um, uh, you know areas that I'm working. So as you see right here, I did my uh, 
bicep curls and then I switched over to hammer curls just to hit every single muscle possible in my uh, bicep and then uh, as you're gonna see in the triceps I'm gonna do the uh, the one arm pull downs and then I'm gonna also switch over to the reverse grip pull downs which a lot of a lot of people are skeptical about I um, personally uh, like the reverse grip pull downs um, but I'm seeing you know more and more uh, studies talking about how they really don't affect that much so I might I might cut them out I might not um, it's really just based on you at the end of the day but this is going to conclude basically uh, my voice so I want to thank you so much for watching this portion and if you're enjoying the video please uh, like the video and sub don't forget to subscribe all right guys so I'm going to end up the vlog right here I'm ending off the night with another pint of this enlightened caramel oatmeal cookie crunch um, I posted this on my Instagram but this is probably the best low calorie ice cream I have ever had I have had almost every low calorie ice cream that you can have on the market which is pretty crazy but uh, that one is definitely the best uh, I had some last night I'm having some tonight but uh, like I said concluding up the video right here I hope you had just enjoyed it all of the footage and workout footage everything else like that um, but yeah that's it uh, I'm gonna conclude the vlog right here Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to go like you like, like my stuff up, comment, subscribe. Y'all be cool. Remember, lift is life. Yeah. I'm on my night job, time's getting hard, so we moving day to day. Fuck what niggas trying to say to me, please. Things have never been so crazy. Yeah,